Am I supposed to start? Yes, always. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and... <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Hey, everyone, and welcome. Today, in this YouTube video, we want to talk about partnerships and um, giving a potential different perspective of what a partnership is could mean and what all the different potentials are in partnerships and something that we really like to speak on often are new paradigm partnerships and or new paradigm relationships and I think historically speaking we have a very um, finite definition on what partnership is it's like if I'm gonna get married usually it's not always it's starting to expand and over the last let's say 50 years it's expanded a lot but typically it's a heteronormative boy meets girl boy and girl fall in love they get married and they have kids and they live happily ever after um, but now as we're starting to expand in our idea of what partnership could be such as same sex and or so much more beyond that I felt like it would be a good idea to drop in some knowledge on um, yeah, what does partnership actually mean yeah I have another story to tell it's a poop band story it's a poop, poop band story this morning we have this thing with time. It's, it's evident for those of you who watch our videos. And this morning, we were gonna take a journey because I've been working too much. <laughs> and I really wanted to have fun and I wanted to have a journey. We were gonna go to nature and we had all these plans. And Tamar said, well yeah, well, we can do this but only if we start at 7 a.m. Because I have clients. So I get up. 7 a.m. and my puppy really excited and she's like oh well I didn't go to bed until 12 and I have I, I, I have to do my morning practice I'm not gonna be ready for until 9 makes you really sad that made me really sad because someone said that they were gonna show up for something at a certain time and so I changed my plans to fit this person's needs and then I felt like I didn't honor myself so what did you learn today to What's always put my fucking What's self first. <laughs> Fuck the other person. Do what I want. Always. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of a lesson. It's kind, kind of, of a lesson yeah. that's in there. I feel I feel a little bit like it. <laughs> so, I don't so, like a cartoon. I, I pouted. Yeah, you pouted. For I a pouted long time. for a while. Yeah. And I felt my feelings. And I allowed my feelings to be there, and I, re I got to the root of my feelings, and I realized it's because I've been working so much, and I really wanted to just take a super awesome massive trip with her and fuck the world. Um, so yeah. what are we going to do now? So now we're going to go to the Pyramids of Chi, which is these sound pyramids that are in the north of Bali. I said, how can I honor my feminine today? How can I, like, get out of my poopy pants and, like, do something that I actually really want to do instead of lay here in bed feeling depressed? <laughs> And being poop pants. And I'm also like one day past, here hold this. Yes. I'm after, I'm, I'm one day past ovulation. And I'm still not bleeding. So it's also just like a, a cocktail Let's of. Let's walk out the door. Yeah, a cocktail of un, uncommon, <laughs> unexciting mixtures of the feminine. So for me, partnership means having each other's back mm. and being committed to the personal growth of themselves, ourselves, myself, inside of the relationship while supporting my partner in hers or his or them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I would say the same thing. For me, it's about, you know, really moving from codependency, which is you complete me, you fill these part of me, I'm missing these parts of myself, can you fill this? And, and to really coming into sovereign union with oneself, realizing that, I, I am the most important thing, actually. And when I stop taking care of me, and when I stop honoring me, and I start kind of projecting all my future onto my partner, whether it be her or a male partner or anyone in that matter, I lose parts of myself, and I'm no longer, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer moving from a place of grounded solidity. And this is where I think a lot of um, potential uh-ohs and destruction can happen when 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 partners do this in partnerships yeah and I recognize this so much like so often I have sacrificed my morning practice or um, things I wanted to do for myself or work that I have planned for a 
partner or a potential date or a person I was connecting with because I felt like I had to mold, I had to shape myself into something else in order to live up to their expectations. I'm ready. Yeah, I think this is super common. I think a lot of people yeah. do this. I definitely ha can see myself in the, um, like, my morning practice, for sure. Like, I, w I remember I would, like, I mean, I do like sex, but like I would oftentimes skip that too much. I mean, there's a balance to everything, yeah? And whenever you're in partnership, parts of yourself and parts of the way that you do things are going to be different than when you're alone. Of course, that's natural. There are certain that's, sort of sa sacrifices yeah, as well. Yeah. yeah, and I don't even think sacrifices as much as like, um, yeah, I guess sacrifice because you're, you're doing it for the yeah, greater yeah. the greater experience, you know, but I think really for me the intention for sharing this video is Really to get you to give you an invitation to start to look at partnerships differently Like we're in a partnership and people are often like are you guys really together and and for me? It's like well, what does partnership mean to you? Because to me partnership means that I find someone that I'm attracted to, that I relate with, that I connect to, that I go on dates with, and that I see I have an invested interest in this person's personal growth and self-development, and we have an alignment right now in our ability to grow together, to support one another, to, to, to expand together. And so what I think for me, partnership is, it's like, hey, I see you, I want to grow with you, I want to make plans with you, I want to dream in the future with you, and I'm also, and this is a really important part, I'm not going to project everything onto you. I also want you to continue to, to maintain your truth and your alignment, because here's where I think a lot of partnerships kind of struggle, and this is a pinch point for a lot of partnerships, is that we project everything onto the other person, and, and we don't constantly have check-ins. And this is something that I think is really important in any partnership, regardless of if you're in a monogamous marriage, or if you're in an open relationship, or whatever it is, man, girl, anything in between, whatever it is, to have check-ins. And say, hey baby, you know, we've been doing this like relating thing for the last nine months. How are you feeling? Like, is there anything you need? Is there anything that, 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 that your your heart wants to share? Is there is there do you do you still feel we were planning on going to Europe this summer? Is that still in alignment for you? Does that still feel good for you? Because she might say, you know what? No, actually, I love Bali. And I don't know if it's, it's, it's an alignment for me to leave. I don't know if that's actually my highest truth right now. But if we don't ch take a moment to step in and ask these types of things, we're just going to continue to project that our future is still looking in the same direction when it might have changed. So I think this is a really important conversation when having um, conscious partnerships. from my 19 to my 29, um, are now still very good friends. And I know he will always have my back. And if there's something, you know, I could call him and he would support me. And having him there, you know, after 10 years, somebody becomes like family. Mm. And I'm very happy that we could transform our relationship and we could let go of this idea of happily ever after and having to stay together and we could let each other go and move into this next part of our relating. It's still a relating. Yeah. And I think that's another piece that you just spoke into is is realizing that the, that the length of the relationship does not determine on the success. Yeah. And I think a lot of times we have this, you know, which is kind of our parents' story and maybe their parents' story where that you, you got married and that was it until death do us part. 
And it's like, damn, I know that some really shitty fucking marriages that should not be together. There's abuse, there's alcoholism, there's dishonoring, there's neglect, there's infidelity. I mean, and, and we have this there's old, pain. there's pain, there's a pain. lot of pain. And I remember talking to someone and he said, yeah, but if I commit, I commit. I'm in it for the long run. I think this is what's best for the children. And I said, I disagree because I would rather two parents be super happy and have a really fulfilling relationship with themselves and be in a really good state and be not together than parents staying together because they think that that's going to be what's best and that's the, the best role model for their children. So I think that's another piece in, in, in new paradigm partnerships to look yeah. at. Yeah, it's certainly the case uh, with me. You know, my parents stayed together. My mom stayed with my dad because she thought it was better for us. And the second I found out when I was an adult, I told her it would have been so much more supportive for me, actually, to have two happy separated partners, uh, parents, to have two separated happy parents instead of two miserable partner for me part of partnership is also bringing the best out of each other out of each other yeah yeah that's right yeah that like that as long as that's the case yeah as long that's happening i mean then you're on a path of growth and expansion together yeah. And the second, you know, you feel you're sacrificing too much of yourself and you're not actually growing anymore and not your best parts are coming out, but you're actually your worst parts. Yeah. That's when, you know, something's off. Something is out of alignment and it's time to have this check in moment. Like, are we still on the same page? And it's also changing the belief that every partnership is for the rest of your life. 100%. And, and that has to look the same way exactly. for the rest of your life. Because exactly. what if we could shift our perspective around... I'm down. I'm down to continue to support you in whatever way. As long as you're honoring you and you're honoring me and we're honoring each other and we're honoring our highest selves, I don't, I, I'm, I'm detached on how this looks because I care about you and your growth and your expansion and I'm aware that as I evolve and I grow and I expand, so too will you. And that's where I think we really oftentimes miss the mark when it comes to relationships. in is just a different perspective on what partnership is and yeah. what it could be and if you're wanting to get into partnership really start to have some conscious communications around what does partnership mean to you what are you know what are the principles in partnership what do you see what do you desire what what, what would be a successful partnership to you because a successful partnership to you might be something very different than to the person that you're wanting to partner with and also giving you a perspective and an understanding that we're going to change and we're going to evolve and right now we're in a very peak evolutionary part of our human experience and this is where we have we get to expand our consciousness around what's possible partnerships are here to support you you partner with someone because they add value and hopefully you also add value to their life and their well-being and that can be with one person or with multiple people that can be for a short period of time or for a long period of time wow felt like a ayahuasca journey now really yeah huh did you have images it wasn't so much images, but when I do ayahuasca, my whole body just starts to shake. And like, my, my whole body, like, I could feel you next to me. You were just like, <laughs> so still. And I'm just like, <laughs> I had all these crazy images of like, lots of sexual images. <laughs> makes me blush. <laughs> oh, it takes something to make you blush, I don't know. Well, I have this like vision in my head of temples and like really, really, really wanting to be in temple space again and how I see you and how I met you. And I remember you and Eve one time 
I can't remember who was bending over like this, the, the horseshoe. And, and you and he were just like in it. And I just had this, these visions of like, wow, how fucking epic would it be to have like a dungeness esque you know, like temple BDSM situation while people were like, did you do Did you do Like, whoa, like it, I had those visions. That was happening in my head. <laughs> 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 and I'm, yeah, wow, it was amazing. It was amazing. Highly recommendable. Highly recommendable. It is so big. It's just neat. <laughs> Wow. And I had pretty big hands. So interesting. Yeah. And I thought I and I thought I had long fingers. Shaking. I don't know, I thought we had to be still. <laughs> So anyways, um, we hope that you like, subscribe, let us know. We've got some really beautiful juicy comments from you guys um, below from some of our last videos. If you have questions on this, please let us know. And uh, stay tuned for more videos about this topic and more. Yes. I'm just making it back and forth. <laughs> I'm looping back and forth. <laughs> So what you don't see on YouTube vlogs that you watch. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna that you don't see. <laughs>